Hello my lovelies and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today's a really exciting one for me. It's my first collab and it is with the wonderful Debbie of Vinyl Beauty. I'm so excited. Um, so this is a face-off collab. So basically we have both got the same palette and five shades have been chosen with a random number generator. So we both use the same five shades. We have to use all five in the look. We won't know which look each other's done until the videos go up so it's uh i'm so excited to see what debbie does with this because she is so talented she's a real colorful girl just like me and i love her if you haven't watched any of debbie's videos yet if you haven't visited her channel you really need to head on over there because debbie is just fantastic i love that girl so much um but we'll talk more about debbie in a bit um so i will show you the palette the palette the that has been chosen that we chose for the collab is the cult candy playhouse palette and she looks like this so the five shades that have been chosen are baby which is this one here uh tweety which is this yellow up here. Um, what's next? Crawlies, which is this green. Um, Bonnet, which is this blue. And Dolly, which is the pink. That's the one throwing me off a little bit. So I've swatched them out so you can see the colours. So that's the colours we are playing with today. I think I know what I want to do. I think. Um, <laughs> But we'll see. We shall see. Um, I will link Debbie's channel in the um, box below, the description box below, and also her video, um, which I'm very excited to see. And so let's get into this. I think what I'm going to do first, she says, is take Tweety into the inner part of my crease. Ooh, squeaky chair um so yeah debbie i don't know i don't think she does realize just how much of an impact she had on my life encouraging me to uh to start my youtube channel um that girl literally has changed my life this has given me so much more confidence so much just it's just uh opened up a whole new world for me and i cannot thank her enough and to be doing my very first collab with debbie is just absolutely amazing absolutely amazing i'm so excited oh squeaky chair I'm just building this yellow up as much as I can just in the inner part of my crease here. It does require some building. This would probably be great on a white base, um, but unfortunately I don't have one of those. So we are working with what we've got. Um, I did prime my eyes with the, um, the NYX Prefit eyeshadow primer which I used yesterday for the first time and I loved it so uh, today is uh, trial number two and already it is a million times better than the Wet n Wild photo focus um, that's that's obviously just my opinion um, but for me it works so so much better so much better Okay, so now we've got the yellow down. I'm going to go in with Dolly. We're, we're just going to go for it. The one that threw me off is uh, she's going in the crease. Um, so yeah, Debbie's channel is... Uh, <laughs> she's, uh, very, like I said, very colourful just uh like i am so if you uh if you enjoy my channel you will love debbie 
she's just fantastic. I've learned so much from her already. She is just an absolute doll. She says whilst using the shade Dolly. Um, I cannot say enough nice things about Debbie. Just such a lovely, big hearted, beautiful person with talent. I don't know how much this is working, but we are committed now. So uh, this is what we're going with. I might end up looking like a pastel clown. But hey, who doesn't love a clown? Says the person that's terrified of them. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Just hope I don't look in the mirror and scare myself. I'm just going to blend the pink into the yellow a bit because uh, I think uh, I don't want it, the yellow to kind of overtake the pink spotlight, if that's what you'd say. I do love how these blend out, they're, they're really nice, uh, really nice shadows. I love these collab videos uh, because I think they bring the, the community together and I just think it's so wonderful that so many YouTubers collab together and, and help lift each other up. I, I just think it's wonderful and uh, I have already just uh, met some wonderful people through doing YouTube and my channel and uh, the community I'm in is just such a wonderful one. It's uh, just everyone's so fantastic, such lovely people um, and I just love that it's it's the norm within this community to, to be colourful, to be adventurous. Uh, it's, it's encouraged and I absolutely love that. Right, I think I need to stop playing there because I think we've pretty much got what we're looking for. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I think so. And so I am going to... What am I gonna do? I'm gonna take Bonnet, the blue, and I'm going to put that over the most part, kind of up to up to the inner part, leaving just that bit open because that's where I'm thinking of putting putting baby <laughs> nobody puts baby in the corner yep Steph does let's just see if it works okay is this working I'm I'm actually not mad at it so I did have in mind what I wanted to do and then as soon as I looked at the colors swatched out on my arm I was like nope that's uh, that's too predictable stuff. Way too predictable. You've got to do something that no one's expecting. So uh, I'm hoping that I've succeeded and that no one was expecting this. But it could also backfire in the case of... Uh, it could look terrible. But time will tell. I will tell. Well, I'm not mad at it. So I want to bring the blue up a little bit because I don't think the pink and the green are particularly gonna go well together. So I want to kind of put the blue in the middle. 
and uh, yeah, go from there. Debbie, I hope I'm doing you proud. Um, not sure yet, but I can't wait to see what you've done. I cannot wait because uh, I know it's going to be fabulous and I'm going to love it. As always, um, hmm, yeah, well, I think I'm going to beat the table up. Um, so I think next I'm... I say I think, I'd already decided. I'm going in with baby. I'm putting baby in the corner. So, let's see what happens here. This could make or break this look. Okay, that brush is too big. That brush is too big. Let's find something that's not too big. Um... Oh, this is not going good. Right. Change brushes. Let's try again. Hmm. Um, let's spray her. I'm spraying this one. We are giving her the best shot to work. Because I know I've used this colour and I know it's fantastic. There we go. I'm just going to, uh, oh, what am I doing? I'm just going to blend these a little bit. Just so it doesn't have a harsh line between them. Okay, yeah, so far, not too bad. Let's take a bit of baby on this. And just bring her in there a bit. Take her out of the corner a little bit. Yeah. I'm not unhappy with that. <laughs> Do these colours go? Who knows? Who knows? Let me know what you think. Have, uh, have I done an okay job? I've decided to bring that yellow back a bit actually because I think that will uh, that'll be good just to blend it into the pink a bit more so there's more of a gradient between the yellow and the pink. Hmm, yeah, I think I prefer that actually. That was a, a good choice. Yeah. I'm quite happy with that. Oh, I'm going to make a mess. 
I'm just going to add a little bit more of that pink just to blend it a little bit higher. I just want that up closer to my brow. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Okay, I'm happy with that. Sorry. And going in with the last colour that we have, Crawley's. I think that's the last one. One, two, three, four. Yeah, the last one. <laughs> so let's put what I'm going to do with Crawley's is I'm going to go under the eye. Hmm. I think that works. I'm going to go ahead and blow that out a bit in a minute. I think what I might do, if we stamp some of that in there, on there, let's stamp some on. It will all make sense in a minute, I promise. I hope. Uh, just bring that up a little bit to meet the blue. And then what I'm going to do is take the brush that I had the yellow on, I'm not adding any more yellow, and I'm going to use that to fluff out the edges. Now I can see. So I'm just going to use that to fluff out the edges of the green. No extra product at all, just uh, just the uh, what was left on there. Hmm. Wow, that's uh, that is what it is. Yeah, no, I'm I'm pretty happy. I'm going to take some more of baby and just. Uh, Pop her in the corner again. I'm just using her for the inner corner. Again with the hair. I'm always saying hair. Could just be a very beautiful him. Speaking of beautiful hymns, do any of you watch RuPaul's Drag Race? Oh my god, my daughter has got me into it and some of some of these queens are the most beautiful people I've ever seen. They are absolutely stunning. I have completely fallen in love with the pheromone. I think she is absolutely stunning and just so sweet and so funny. Um I love a lot of them, to be fair, from what I've seen so far. Uh, it, it's just fantastic. Do any of you watch it? If you do, please let me know. Um, I'm just obsessed, absolutely obsessed with uh, these absolutely stunning drag queens. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, to the point that I am so desperate to try and recreate some of the makeup. So that might be coming at some point soon because I really, really, really want to give that a go. So I'm going to head off camera to do my liner, lashes and lips and then I will be back with you to chat. See you in a minute. I am back with the finished look. What do you think? I'm uh, actually really, really happy with it. Debbie, what do you think? Have I done you proud, lovely? I can't wait to see your look. Um, so I went in with um, the blush from my I Heart Revolution Marshmallow Palette. I went in with this one here, Whirl. And the 
highlighter I went in with was from Makeup by Lisa in the shade Pearl. It's this uh, beautiful uh, peach with a blue violet glow. Love that. Um, I used the mascara from Barry M. That's how I roll. Second time using it. Quite impressed. Um, the eyeliner, Elf the normal one I use. Um, I popped some Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil into two turquoise in my waterline. Um, I decided to uh, go with a blue line. I was desperate to use my pastel liners again is uh, the honest truth. Um, so I went in with the Sheen Epic Liner in the shade Ocean Blue and uh, just connected that to the black eyeliner and lastly no not lastly on my lips i've got the revolution in the shade rebellion this one this uh, metallic purple and lastly the eyelashes i've used are from ilia they are the dramatic uh number 205 i used the duo glue for the first time um like properly and it's okay actually I think I left it long enough this time so it was uh, it worked out quite well I think um, I quite like it I like the color of it too it's like a fluorescent -y color easily pleased um, so this is the final look of the face-off challenge so uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what Debbie's done and uh, yeah thank you so much for joining me us today um, if you've come over from Debbie's channel hi it's lovely to have you here I hope you have enjoyed it and will consider subscribing um, so yeah that's that's really it now <laughs> so I have had such a great time I've I've loved every minute of this thank you so much Debbie for doing this with me it's it's just been amazing if you've enjoyed this please give me a big thumbs up it really helps me out and if you're not subscribed already please consider that and uh, hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I upload next thank you again for being with me I will see you again very very soon goodbye